We begin tonight with the Fox 35 News exclusive. A dog attack caught on camera, and neighbors say this isn't the only time it's happened. People say these two pit bulls are terrorizing their neighborhood. Let's get out to Fox 35's Dave Puglisi. He's joining us live tonight in Seminole County. And Dave, the county says they are looking into this. Nguyen, they are. These dogs are jumping fences and running through the neighborhood. This time, they came to the Wiggins' home where they attacked their cat in their yard. This video shows the Wiggins family cat, 18 year old Cleo, blind and deaf, being pulled across the yard by two dogs. Basically, both of them tugging one way, the other way, and that's, that was the end of it right there. And then and a veto police report reveals that the two pit bulls jumped a fence and found the cat and killed him. More than anything, seeing my 20 year old son that grew up with the cat. Yeah. Devastated. Neighbor Ken Busker believes the same dogs attacked his dog Cooper twice. The second time his daughter caught the attack on camera. There's a chain link down here on their side. Mm -hmm. They've managed to get up on the chain link and come over this. They came over this the second time. Ken has built what he calls a Franken fence to keep the dogs out. A lot of these folks have little kids and God forbid they, they run the neighborhood like kids should be able to do and one of these dogs gets antsy and comes after him. Then what? We went to the home the neighbors pointed out where the dogs belong. A man who answered the door told us he doesn't know anything about the attacks. Seminole County Animal Control is investigating a total of four incidents that they believe are related to the dogs at that home. And if it is, that means this dog would be listed as uh, potentially dangerous uh, to the community, a public safety hazard, uh, and then we would take uh, appropriate legal actions at that point. Right now, Animal Services are reviewing those videos that we showed you, as well as reviewing the incidents to see if these are the same dogs. And if so, they say that they will be taking proper actions against the dogs and the owners. In Oviedo, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News. Dave